Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Northwest Fishing Reports TV. We're coming to you from beautiful Lake Cleelum off of I-90 in the central Washington area. I'm joined today by Northwest Fishing Report members RCs and Randy. We've got two Randys on board, so R squared power. <laughs> Randy, we're gonna have a fun day going after Lakers, aren't we? Yeah, we got a beautiful day. The lake is beautiful. Uh, Lakers are calling. We're gonna go see what we can do. We've got a few different techniques we're gonna show you today, so let's go fishing. 95 feet, 91 feet. We got a crazy windy day out here today. There's one on the fish finder right now. 90, 91. These are the Dutch fork uh -huh. blades. This is a uh, the long blades, but you can see how that's Randy, opaque. I think you got one, bud. Oh, go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. Yeah, yeah, that's fish. That looks like fish. running five rods today. Lake Cleelum is a two rod lake. The limit on Lakers is five fish. Um, we're running two downriggers, so we're fishing right off the bottom with those. Then we've got a couple suspended um, sliders off the downrigger, and we've got one planer board off to the side. So we've got our depths covered on this lake, you'll find Lakers both on the bottom and you'll also run into them suspended. So it never hurts to have a suspended uh, lure going along the back end. We still got a bit of wind, so we're running it a little fast, like 1718, keeping the RPMs up so the boat doesn't spin with the wind. I think this wind will start dying off a little bit and that'll make it a little easy for, easier for us. We're just waiting for that first fish. Get him right up the middle there. Here, you back. Yeah, when, when the fish gets up close, you stand behind me. Yeah, oh. got it, yeah. A lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know, it's a constant learning. Oh, this feels like a decent sized fish. This would be my salmon rod. Comes. Oh, that's a nice fish. Excellent job. That's a nice fish. Ready, Randy? There he is. Yeah. Right on! Yeah! Good job. Yeehaw! That's a pretty one. On a spoon. <laughs> Flashy fish spoon from Steve Davis. Oh, you have Barbara's hook, too, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Well, good job keep getting them in there. I like fishing spoons. Slimy buzzard. Well, there we go. First Lake Cleom Lake Trout. Nice job, Randy. There we go. I didn't catch it. Yeehaw! Shall we sacrifice him to the gods or take him home? Take him home. Alright. Well, cool. So it's been an interesting morning battling the wind and the waves, but we got our first Laker. And uh, Randy, that's your first Laker, isn't it? Yeah, Mike, that, that's my very first Laker. Uh, actually, uh, kind of cool. Came up here looking for some big ones. That's a pretty nice fish. Uh, you're right, the, it's a little windy, a little bumpy. Good fighting fish. Let's go get some more. Well, that we will, Randy. We're going to try to get you that 15-pounder today. 
Works for me. <laughs> I'll take it home all the way. Probably get one that way big, we'll probably let it go. Uh, we got some little blood on the deck, got one for the smoker. If we get one that big, uh, those are pretty special fish and we'll probably send it on its way. Take a picture and send it on its way. Sounds good. Got him? What's the word, Randy? The word is my sandwich was really drying. I'm choking it out. Oh, that word. You got a fish? Yep. Oh. There's a fish, man. There we go. Oh, he, he just bounced off. Oh, no. Oh, man. We tried. That's all that's left to my fish. I think, I think I got a fish on. The little guy. Coconut. Ah, yeah. No, no. Hey. No coconut. Yep. Oh, yeah. Spit it out. He was there. Dirty buggers. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. What you got there, Mike? Oh man, the planer board just doubled over. Holy cow. I mean, it, it buried the planer board under the water. It did so hard. Got a nice laker here. So Where one thing that's tricky, we have to unhook the planer board. Okay. Uh, Randy, I'm gonna hand you the rod. Okay. I'm gonna unhook the planer board. Right. And uh, I'll try not to lose the fish. Try not to lose the fish. I'll do my fish. best for you, Mike. The trick is when you release from the planer board, you gotta keep the rod tip down so that there's not a little slack line. Okay, hand that to you. Oh no, can... right hand reel. Oh, oh this man. is this is a <laughs> recipe for disaster here. That's a shake that I can feel that fish is shaking like crazy. Okay, reel down, reel down, and thank you. Oh man, that's a good fish. Whoa, look at that guy go. Bring him on over to the side, Mike, or out back? I think we're gonna have to go out back on this guy. He's, he's not uh, given much options. Wow, that came out of the blue. So this one is suspended. I'm using five ounce weight, and that's gonna be the next thing we're gonna see is the, the five ounce weight clip. So Randy, you're gonna need to Unclip that five ounce weight. Oh man, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. That is a nice fish. I'm gonna slow this down. There's the clip. So as that clip comes up, we're gonna take that, unhook the clip, and then we're gonna be dealing with the fish. Whoa. Off. All right, now it's just, uh, no, it's just, just you the and the fish. fish, Mike. Last 15 feet to go. So that clip was 15 feet. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, oh, yeah, great. Oh, Mike, that's a big one. Got him. Wow. All right, people, there you go. And that is why you come out here to Cleallum. You got it, Mike? Yep, yep. Oh. Holy Moses. That's a big one. Wow. Wow is right. <laughs> Look at that, people. 
So that's probably in the 10 pound range. We're gonna get some pictures. We're gonna put them back, unless uh, we wanna eat them. <laughs> no, we're gonna let this guy go back. That's a trophy class fish. We got that on a spoon, fishing off a planer board. Five ounce weight, 15 feet behind the spoon, and then another 120 feet of line out, and then uh, let it run. Beautiful. As you can see from the chop and the way and the white caps, this lake can get pretty rough. You uh, want to keep an eye on the wind because it can turn in no time at all. So not something to take lightly. If you've got a small boat, be aware of that. Randy, we got ourselves a couple Lakers today. One was pretty nice fish. I caught one that's a really nice fish. He's being a little modest. It's a, it's a gorgeous lake trout. I caught a smaller one, my first one. I'm happy, we had a good day. Uh, beautiful lake, beautiful day, good people. What more can you ask for? Not too much. Randy, unfortunately, his came off, but uh, we'll get him a lake or another day. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got Randy one and Randy two today. That's right. <laughs> Again, I wanna emphasize this lake, like the other Alpine lakes up here, Ketchelis and uh, Kachis, they get windy really fast. So you need to keep an eye on the, on the wind and the waves that are starting to build up. And if it's getting rough, head back to the boat launch. Yeah, and it gets rough in a hurry. It doesn't mess around. Yeah, today's particularly windy. Yeah, very surprise, windy. So. Yeah. Well, Randy, thanks for thank you, fishing Mike. with me. Thank you. And thank you, Randy. Randy, too. Well, Mike that's Randy one. One, one, Randy one. Randy one, two. <laughs> Randy one, Randy two. Thank you, RCs. We'll see you guys on the water and online. Fish on.